We're here in the Sonoran Desert. It's December. Just an absolutely beautiful day. And I wanted to do a video of just all the diverse plant life that you wouldn't expect in a desert this dry. But there's just a lot of stuff, a lot of really interesting things. Right here next to me, this is a, an Arizona barrel cactus. Sometimes people call it a fish hook barrel. It's got these hook spines. Uh, here's another larger one here. If you notice they tend to kind of bend towards the southwest. They're also called compass cactus. There's a very large uh, saguaro right there. And right next to it here is a creosote bush. And then this is a buckhorn choya. We'll walk down this way. So here's a, uh, these are brittle bush. Right here. Right here's a, Nice example of a prickly pear, somewhat related to the choya. Oh, and then right next to it we have horse crap, so watch out for that. And then right here, right over here, this is an ironwood tree. These trees uh, are very slow growing, their wood is very dense and they're very old. Some of the oldest trees in North America. That's a buckhorn choya. I guess there was another one over there, but this is a larger one. Down this way. There's Caroline. Right here is a, uh, that's a hedgehog. It's got its name from all the spines. It's multi-stemmed like that. Walk over here. Here we have a, an Ocotillo. It has unbranching stems that come up from the bottom. And it's actually alive. It looks like it's dead, but it loses its leaves when it's dry. And it's dry this time of the year. In the summer when there's rain, it'll grow some leaves. This, this one here is a, a jumping choya. If you look, you can see the, these spiny things here and they'll come off. They'll come off and uh, attach to your shoes, your shirt or something like that. You have to really watch out for them. Let's come down this way. There's a lot of Palo Verde trees in here. So this here is a Palo Verde. It's named after the green stems on the tree. And this is a young saguaro that's growing next to the Palo Verde. And it uses it sort of as a shade part of the day to help it grow. Walk right down here. And finally we have a young, here's a large uh, jumping cactus, and here's a, here's a small, smaller uh, fish barrel. So this is uh, an example of a lot of the, the plants that grow in this area.